Hello, my name is Fran and I'm part of the worship leading team at Oakwood Church and this is my thought for the day. Well, I don't mind telling you that this weekend has been one of wild abandonment in my kitchen. Uh, one of the main radio stations has been playing musicals all weekend. So my daughters and I have spent the entire weekend singing and dancing our way round the kitchen. We have enjoyed uh, traditional musical favourites from Les Mis or Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Uh, we've enjoyed dancing around the kitchen defying gravity from Wicked um, but and also try to get our tongues around the complicated and clever lyrics from the more recent Hamilton. It has given us such joy. So what has this got to do with faith? We certainly know there are stories in the Bible where people have danced with wild abandon in front of uh, the Lord. My, my mind particularly swings to the story of David. But I always think, do you know, if I can dance with such joy and with such release and with such delight when I'm in my kitchen listening to the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber or uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda, how much more so will I dance with joy and release and abandonment and delight when I am in front of God? Now, this week is um, the celebration of Candlemas in the church. And we hear the story of some people that from years after years of waiting have faced or have come in um, contact with and seen the glory of God. They have seen Jesus and recognised him for who he is. When um, Jesus is brought to the temple by his parents, Simeon, who has been waiting his whole life for the Messiah, says these words because he recognises who Jesus is. He says, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations. A light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Now I wonder what words we would mutter in the sight of God, whether we would dance with wild abandon, whether we would um, pray in absolute awe, whether we would be absolutely quiet, I don't know. But I pray that for you, you see something of God this week, that you see something of the joy and delight that God sees in our creation and that you can celebrate that and celebrate who God is in joy and delight. I wish you all the very best of weeks. Bye bye.